a part two video on engraving. In the last video I went into a basic introduction and this video I'm going to go into a little bit more detail how you can get single line fonts in Pathpilot and some of the limitations of a low RPM spindle um, and a couple of details like that. So with a machine like the Tourmark 1100 you're limited to 5100 RPM and so that means quite slow engraving especially if you're working in steel. Going to a single line font saves quite a bit of time because it's um, not as much traveling around and it also means that you can have a bigger diameter cutter for any given width of font and that means um, obviously you can have a much faster feed rate if the cutter diameter is bigger. So here we've loaded uh, some um, font from um, a link sent on the Tormark CNC zone. A, a poster kindly put a link in there. This is a CAMBAM uh, font. Numbers 1 through to 10 I think. And um, they seem to be mainly single line fonts. And they load into the uh, font file of Pathpilot. So looking at um, this question of RPM. So here's a, a, a basic drawing of a D bit and if you have a diameter here of one millimeter um, and you've got a single tip cutter, um, let's have a look at what this means for 5100 RPM. Well this is just my basic little speed, speeds and feeds page. So if you're in 6061 aluminium and you have a 0.5 cutter diameter that means that you can engrave at a speed of only 18 millimeters a minute or 1 millimeter 54 millimeters a minute or 2 millimeter 91 millimeters a minute and if your cutter is in tool steel and you 0.5 diameter you're right down to a feed rate of F6 millimeters a minute. So this is very slow. So if you can get a single stick font and it suits the application of the type of width of font that you want, obviously it's going to mean you can have the maximum diameter cutter. The maximum diameter cutter on a single point cutter is um, obviously the point, the tip that generates the diameter. While I'm on this subject, uh, one thing you can do with a D bit, typically they might have an angle per side of about 10 degrees for engraving work, um, is that it might start off as a 0.5 diameter cutter and as it wears in this area, this is the area that will obviously break down, you can with the lap quite quickly stone it back a little. Um, it will produce a bigger diameter cutter which will be useful for other work but then you get a sharp cutter again. So the last job that I did was a 0.7 cutter and I've just lapped it back until it's sharp again and I have now about a one millimeter diameter cutter and this is some of the samples in the Kanban font style of six millimeters. It's Kanban 2 font, Kanban 1, Kanban 3 single line font seems to be quite good. Different styles obviously and the size of them is only loosely defined by the size you uh, input, in this case six millimeters. Uh, in actual fact the different fonts are quite a bit bigger and smaller by the looks of it. So coming up onto Pathpilot, this is Kanban 3 and you can see it's essentially a single line font. So let's just go over uh, setting up a particular little trial here. So we're going to try Kanban Stick 7. We're going to enter in there 7 so we can identify it. Um, and we've set the feed rate at about 30 millimeters a minute which is probably about maximum for mild steel um, the height of the text is six millimeters we've chosen the option of 
center. That means that the y-axis is set in the middle of the uh, length of text. You could also choose left or right, but it's just simpler in this case to have them all centralized. And the y base or the x-axis is um, on the bottom always. That's not uh, a choice. Um, so you might set your x-axis on zero each time for that position. So we could come down here. Sorry, uh, y-axis on zero here. Um, so we could enter in here. Um, or, or move it over 10 millimeters to trial the next line and uh, zero it there. Um, depth of cut and so on. Now, a set at point 0.2. If we post to file, it's going to come up immediately over the top of the last file we've done. Um, so we've got CAMBAM trial in here. And it's a little bit confusing this. If you just let it go ahead, it'll, over, it'll ask you to overwrite. So if I go save, it'll ask for an overwrite. Well, that's good enough for this situation. Now we can see um, the NC graphics projected out. Um, let's go for ISO view. You can see it's quite a narrow font, but there's a big gap between the letters and the number. That may or may not be desirable could be quite useful for some situations. Let's go back and have a look at number 8. I'll change it to number 8. And again we'll just post a file, save it over the top, overwrite, and you can see that's quite an artistic one. Um, probably not that useful for most engineering applications and so on we go.